Welcome back. You're watching Timeless Merchant. Thanks for watching. I haven't been going to any yard sales or flea markets because it's the middle of the winter here on the East Coast. As you can see, I am all bundled up, hat on because it's cold in the studio. I don't know, probably 36 degrees in here. It's cold, but I did buy something cool recently. Back in December, Tesla released their Giga Texas belt buckle. I ordered it instantly because things go like this on tesla.com and it arrived a few weeks ago haven't opened it i opened the package when it came in but i have not opened this thing right here so it'll be a first for me as well seeing how it looks like we're gonna get some good shots of this we're gonna get really close because i bought a macro lens the other day so we're gonna get try to get at least some wicked wicked good shots of this thing right here this belt buckle cost me 150 dollars or you can now actually also purchase this from tesla.com using dogecoin around the time when i received this belt buckle tesla announced or elon announced that you can buy certain merchandise from their website using dogecoin so that's what i did yesterday and you know what let me just show you real quick how you can do it because it's kind of cool doing it i've never bought anything using crypto i haven't bought anything using dogecoin and i did it for the first time yesterday and it was super simple. But if you don't wanna see the process of purchasing something with Dogecoin, just skip ahead. I'll have a few chapters lined up here and you can just skip ahead that thing and watch the actual belt buckle. All right, so I'm over at tesla.com. Click the shop tab and it brings me to the shop where I can buy car accessories, clothing and other products. At the bottom of the page, we got the lifestyle tab. And currently this is the only section of the shop that accepts Dogecoin for certain products. Like I said earlier, a lot of the items are already sold out, but the second batch of belt buckles are still available and only available to purchase using Dogecoin. Click the Dogecoin button and the normal information field pops up. Contact information, shipping information, and all that good stuff. Before I click buy, however, I just want to read over the Dogecoin terms and condition. I mean, this is my first time using any sort of crypto for, to pay for anything. So I just want to read over it real quickly. It basically just says that transactions are irreversible because that's just how the Dogecoin network works. So make sure you enter the address correctly. And then just some standard information regarding personal identity, money laundering, fraud, yada, yada, yada. All good, good to know. All right, so let's click the buy button. Now we're brought to the payment site, and usually this is where we will fill out all of our credit card information. Here, however, I got two options. I can either scan the QR code with my Doge compatible wallet on my cell phone, or I can copy the Doge address and enter it into the wallet I have installed my desktop. I'm using my desktop wallet. So I'm opening my Dogecoin wallet, I'm pasting the Doge address that I copied, and I'm also entering the amount, which in this case is 980 Doge. For the label, I'm just entering Tesla Giga Texas belt buckle, but you can write down whatever you want. Under this next tab of transaction fee, I'm just going to stick with the recommended. Click send and you're prompted to enter your password. And here's the final confirmation box before you send your coins. Do take notice of the transaction fee of 0.002 Doge. That is in dollars, that turns out to be 0.028 cents. I think I did my math right here, but that's nothing. I mean, Dogecoin is still in its relatively early stages and there's an army of independent programmers out there building this network and making it better day by day. But I do speculate that if transaction fees can be kept this low, oh boy, it will change the name of the game. Mark my words. Yes. And there you go. Our beloved mascot for Dogecoin pops up and the order has been placed. I received a normal order confirmation on my email and the invoice shows the total amount paid in both US dollars and Dogecoin. And the payment method says crypto. That's pretty cool. And lastly, I'll just show you my wallet where you can see the funds have been withdrawn. That was pretty cool. That was a lot of fun. All right, back to the belt buckle. You know what? I'm gonna put on some gloves. I'm gonna put on some 
because I don't want to really want to touch it. Get well, yeah. Let me put on some gloves. Okay, it's nice. It says Tesla Giga Texas belt buckle wrap. Very nice. Oh yeah, back on the on the back side here it says Giga Texas belt buckle made on Earth by humans. I really like that. Hmm. Country of origin. It is China, but would have been kind of cool if they made it at the Giga Tesla. I mean, would have been kind of cool if they made it at Giga Texas. But honestly, they are still in process of building it right now. So I guess it makes sense. Maybe they made it at their Shanghai factory. I'm not sure. Anyways, let's open it. This is nice. This is wicked nice. I'm happy I got a second one coming. Don't mess with Texas. Or don't mess with Tesla. Let's get a few macro shots on this bad boy. Damn, I need to go and get a belt. And I actually, honestly, I need to figure out how to do this. I don't know how to attach this to a regular belt. Never done that before. I just buy the belt and use whatever clasp that comes with it. Yeah, let's, let's go and get a belt. Oh yeah, I'm a country man. Cut some grass and herd some cattle. First I gotta dig up my truck out that I got stuck in the field. It ain't much, but it's honest work. From America. I'm pumped that I got a second one on the way. Oh, and that I bought it with Dogecoin. That's just some um, poetic justice right there i don't know if that's the right name but that's um oh and i just want it on record for my own self and most of you are aware of this meme too and i do honestly think that dogecoin does have a chance to be a currency a global currency that you use as we saw earlier just the process of buying my belt buckle number two it's super simple you have your dogecoin wallet you pay to the address that's it yeah you can use your card but some banks are terrible you use your card and they decline it for whatever reason it's abroad especially banks here in america and this sucks if you want to buy something in other places a lot of times they'll they'll 
still deny it. I had my bank, I'm not gonna say what bank I used, but it's a smaller bank, a local bank. And they blocked a transaction for a payment going that I was buying something in England for. And they cancel it because of fraud. And I call them and I see, hey, can you open it up? Oh, uh, no, couldn't. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of fraud over there. And I said, England? There's a lot of fraud from England in Europe? So more and more, honestly, I am getting a little fed up with the traditional banking system because I don't know. I'm an adult. I can handle my money. So anyways, I just want to say that I do think that Dogecoin absolutely has a chance to be a, a viable currency, currency you use online with other creators, with other merchants. I don't know. This was fun. I enjoyed doing this. It was fun opening it and checking it out. And I might do a few more of these in the future. You know, it's not all old things I buy. I buy new things. I buy new collectibles, different kind of things. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it. I hope, yeah, I hope you liked it. So until next time, stay timeless.